Uh, their line battalions are uh, trying to put pressure on. They're starting to a little bit. A vicious fight, but a good one for the woods out here. These guys are moving. Oh yeah, here we go. Hello YouTube fans and friends and welcome once again to my alternate history gaming and digital role play channel. I am as always your humble and gracious host, Bank 60s. So, in our last video, we got trounced by a wily AI French opponent which utilized a significant advantage in cavalry to plow my troops backward over what became a field utterly strewn with dead and dying. There were intense melees, devastating firefights, and crippling cavalry charges and counter charges. Highly recommended you watch Bloody Rascals, episode four of my playthrough of this awesome 19th century combat simulation video game and role play experience. It is Norbsoft Dev Scourge of War, Waterloo. Just want to take a moment out here to say thank you, to recognize a landmark for the channel, a milestone for me, and something that's incredibly encouraging. 50 subscribers. What? Everybody seems to really like that Scourge of War Waterloo content, so I'm going to keep it up. And, of course, I want to say thank you. Anybody who watches, subscribes, likes the content, that's all fuel for me, motivation, inspiration, man, to continue to be creative. Again, thank you so much, guys. I so much appreciate that you're paying attention. Please stay tuned. There's plenty more where this came from. So in our next installment, I've decided to uh, simplify. We're going to uh, reduce the number of moving parts that it is that we have to manage in this next battle. Um play defense, and hopefully put ourselves in a position to gain a victory in the Battle of Waterloo, really the very beginning. The Hunters is the name of our scenario selection. The situation, the general in command, Sir Arthur Wellesley, has ordered the garrisoning of three farms along the Allied line at Waterloo. Hougamont on the right, where we will be, La Isson to the center, and Papelot on the left, where we have done some fighting in a prior episode. You've just been made overall garrison commander of Ugamal. Your troops are made up of various detachments, Dutch Jaegers, the Hunters, German Nassau companies, as well as your own Coldstream guards. The Chateau de Ugamal, or Ugamal, is a large farm complex with several buildings and high walls, a great defensive position. Just as your Jaegers take up position in the woods, you spot enemy movement to the south. So here we will be, at the Chateau de Hougoumont. Jaegers to the front. Infantry in the rear. More Jaegers, I believe, here. I think these will be our Coldstream units. French coming from here. We will have an objective, I believe, here and here. Let's check our mission. Your primary objective is to hold the woods south of Hougoumont. These woods here. If you are forced to fall back, garrison your forces in the chateau buildings in here. And there is a wall here I remember being very good for defense, like stupid good. Also, that there, I think there's some kind of little prepared bushes position down here that was weird good. We'll have to see about that. Want to see what it's going to take to uh, get a victory this time. Victory conditions. We've got 1,500 points to earn a major victory, 1,000 points to earn a minor victory, and then at 800, we're at a draw. We're playing defense here. This is a bounce-back scenario, man. I'm just going to say it. So I'm hoping – look, I'm not going to shoot for the stars because I'm not – my skill level is just not there. But I'm going to go for a minor victory on this scenario, 1,000 points. Let's go. I think Courier message, headquarters, 1st British Infantry Division Foot Guards, the Allied Right. 11.30 a.m. on June 18, 1815, my lord. 
You're ordered to hold the wood south of Ugomon. If you are overwhelmed, you may take shelter in the farm buildings, but fall back to the farm only if your situation becomes critical. Da -da 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 -da. We have an objective in the woods right now. It's worth 100 points every 59 seconds. We're going to go ahead and begin. We are already in control of it, as you can see here. I am going to take two units right now. We're going to get skirmishers out. And we're going to send them as far out as they'll go before they run into the bad guys. All right. So, we have engaged. And we'll have the foot guards helping us out in this skirmish formation. I'm going to go ahead and have them advance. Here we are. Control the objective. Good. We're gaining points. It's 100 points every 59 seconds. Covered frontage. We're trying to get them to stop. Here they are. They're trying to find a flank. So we'll go ahead and we'll wheel. I'm going to form a skirmish line with these guys too. And they'll come out and they'll take the place of these guys. Once they're too tired to continue, which I'm sure they will be. I would honestly say that I just formed a skirmisher formation with all these guys. <laughs> For the most part. And just kind of hold out over here in the woods. Yeah, we'll just be a really annoying group of skirmishers in this woods here and see if the French can push us out. Just buy as much time as we possibly can. We'll come out on this uh, flank right here. guys go we'll go ahead and uh, we'll fall back on the left over here uh, their line battalions are uh, trying to put pressure on They're starting to a little bit However, we still hold the objective, and that's what's important. Again, skirmishers, kind of not fair. We're going to take this unit out here. They're energetic. 135 men. Maybe we'll be able to split them and uh, have kind of a last stand here in the woods before we have to pull everybody back into Ugamal. We're looking good on points. 892 points, man. That's a good start. I was looking for... Uh... All right, here goes uh, one of our units. Okay. Here comes reinforcements. More Jaegers up here. Very good, very good. Now, let's see if we can split these guys in half. Very good. And now we'll go skirmish formation again here. And we're just gonna keep everybody. Fight. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. It might not even be worth staying out here now. We've lost uh, control of the objective. We are unlikely to take control back. We're unlikely to take control back, but we'll see. I'm going to bring these Jaegers back into the mall itself, at least that part of the unit. And the French are pressing hard over here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and retreat. We'll go ahead and retreat. And I think everybody's going to end up retreating back inside. The 
we'll have our Jaegers out here in the meantime. Uh, I'm just going to have them hold on for as long as they can, really. I think I'll probably fall back with them here. We'll fall back as we continue uh, firing on these enemies and uh, kind of buying ourselves time and space to rest and get ready for the uh, onslaught to come. And a vicious fight, but a good one for the woods out here. We'll have 928 points to essentially take to the bank while we await the French onslaught, which will now come against Ugamal itself. Uh, excellent defensive position. One thing I will do here is just kind of look at how everybody's doing. All right, morale's high with everybody. It looks like just about. Uh, folks are definitely fatigued. Some more than others. Ammo's still good for everybody. Casualties are not terrible. 270 casualties here. This right here is the best defensive position that I've got, just about. We'll just have to hope that it can hold out. Back above 1,000 points. Looks like... Ooh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here come the French. They're gonna knock us out of there. That's not good. All right. AI's coming to help us out. I'll take it. Thanks, AI. That's great. That's wonderful. Now we've got 574 guys left to uh, just hang on tight. I'll tell you what, now that we've got these units coming in, I wonder if we could get away with Sending one of our units out. The Nassau Usingen uh, unit over here. I'm going to run them out. And we're going to engage these guys to keep them from being able to wrap all the way around. All right, we got some friendlies over here. Friendlies coming to help us out. I'll tell you what for sure, we're going to advance here. And hopefully we can run off this unit. They're probably doing us more damage from where they're firing over there. Unfortunately, they've got another fresh battalion coming up behind here. Oof, it is a rough time at Ugamon. Guys are moving. Oh yeah, here we go. This will be a good shot for the thumbnail. Right here. We got some more reinforcements coming in, man. All right. Points are going up. Uh, all right, all right. Baden's Brigade, I think that's all of them. They're doing their level best, but I don't think they're gonna be able to knock us out of here today, man, not right now. And it is over here on this flank with the AI coming through and just racking up the French casualty count for us. Oh my God, I love this, this feels good, this feels good. Oh my, we don't have many guys left here. 
As a matter of fact, I think we're going to need to go ahead and bring these guys inside. Just to cover us. Just to cover us. At the very end, these guys need to go back in for one day. It's funny how it all happens in a half hour. I must say, I don't know if that's entirely realistic because I know that the fight for Ugamal lasted hours. I don't think the French actually were able to take it until 4 p.m. I think they might have gotten real close here uh, maybe around 1 p.m. or so or 12.30 or something like that. Of course, anybody wants to educate me about that in the comments, uh, please feel free to do so. Um, but here we go. We got 30 seconds remaining. I do feel as though we will probably cruise into a minor victory. Which is and there it is. Yes. Yes. All right, man. Victory is sweet. It tastes good. You feel like you're gaining some traction. You're kind of figuring out the game a little bit. Oh, that's cool. I'm telling you, I think the formation of skirmishers at the very beginning was what helped seal it for us. I mean, look, the casualty count is not great. Uh, if I were fighting the longer form battle, I would maybe even be concerned by this, these numbers. Um, I lost the woods, but I managed to hold on tightly at Ugamal. How cool, man. How cool. All right. We got a victory to work with. Kind of a bounce back scenario for us. A little simpler, but a ton of fun, man. Oh my god, this game is so great. Right up my alley. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. Once again, if you like this content, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification to find out when I'm dropping new vids. I try to do it with these. It's a little more complex. Maybe a couple of times a week, maybe a few. And I'll look forward to seeing you very much on the next one. Scourge of War Waterloo, man.